Hello and welcome back to the course on deep learning. Today we're talking about deep autoencoders. In fact, this is a quick tutorial to introduce deep autoencoders. So why is this tutorial important? Because I wanted to point out one thing that you should be aware of. Stacked autoencoders are not the same thing as deep autoencoders. And this will become extremely obvious when you see the following picture. Are you ready for it? And here we go. This is a deep autoencoder. And right away, just because based on the colors and the way we structured this course, you can tell that this is a blast from the past. These are uh, restricted Boltzmann machines. So stacked, pre-trained layer by layer RBMs, this is what we have here. These are, this is our stacked autoencoder. So basically it's a RBMs that are stacked, then they're pre-trained layer by layer, then they're unrolled, and then they're fine-tuned with back propagation. So then you do get directionality, and then you uh, in your network, and then you have back propagation. But in essence, a s deep out encoder uh, comes from RBM. Stacked out encoders are just normal out encoders stacked. A deep out encoder is RBMs stacked on top of each other, and then s certain things are uh, done with them in order to achieve a out encoding mechanism. Uh, there we go. Just wanted to make sure you're aware of that and that if you hear one of these terms uh, or the other, that you know exactly what uh, is being referenced. And if you'd like to learn more about deep autoencoders, a great paper by Jeffrey Hinton and others called Reducing the Dimensionality of Data with Neural Networks. Um, so check it out if you'd like to learn more about deep autoencoders. And remember that they're based on RBMs. Now make sure to check out these videos on the right or the full course in the description to continue your learning and I look forward to seeing you there.